Now I have to figure out how I'm going to start if we have the thingy. Okay, hold on. I know what I'm going to do for this one. Oh my gosh, it's finally fall. Yeah. Did you ever think we'd get here? No, I didn't think we'd survive. And that's all about the... Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Hello Zany friends, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about our October TBR mm -hmm. list. It is very exciting. We are participating in so many different events this month. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Plus we have vacation, so lots yeah, of reading time. It, yeah, we've got a lot we've got a lot of time to read coming up, but we've also got to get over what we've already read. That is true. Yeah. That is true. So let's talk about what we're gonna read in the month of October. Oh yeah. So the first uh event that I am doing but Marshall is not doing is in our book club we're doing this jar of TBR event so basically people gave uh we gave people a list of like maybe you know depending on how much you wanted to read books mm -hmm. that you wanted to read for the month and then they gave you half of that list and you put it in a jar and then you pick um, I ended up do, picking five books uh, and I'm in the middle of reading one of them already since it is um the second day of October when we're filming this. Mm -hmm. uh, so in my list, the one I'm reading right now is The House on the Cerulean Sea by TJ Kloon. I think that's how you say his name. And uh, it is so far great and I cannot wait to talk about that one. Also on my list is Anxious People by Friedrich Bachman, With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo, Verity by Colleen Hoover, and The Peculiar Fate of Holly Banks by Julie Valerie. This is the sequel to uh, Holly Banks Full of Angst uh, that I read earlier this year and now I'm really excited because I can read the second one for review. Yeah, um, right. but yeah, so that's that. So then the other event we're going to be taking part of in the second half of October is Fortnite Fright. If I can find all of the information for that, I will link it down below. Um, but there is a website and I believe it is Fortnite Fright. Um, but there are a ton of different things that are part of this event. There's like a bingo thing. Mm -hmm. There's like watching movies and, and it's just all takes place in a two week long period. So Marshall and I have already decided the four books we're going to read for the bingo go mm -hmm. um, and one of those books actually coincides with a read that they're doing as a group so it kind of was like a twofold thing uh, mm -hmm. there so the books we are reading for that are uh, Vicious by V.E. Schwab we actually have been wanting to well I have wanted to read V.E. Schwab for a while mm -hmm. uh, you don't know much about Victoria I've not really seen it now so this will be his first foray as well, uh, but I'm glad it kind of fell in there. We are reading Inspection by Josh Mallerman. Mm -hmm. Josh Mallerman also wrote Bird Box, if you guys have seen that on Netflix or Reddit. Uh, he also wrote that, so we're interested to see something else that he has written. We are uh, reading When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. This is a new release that just came out, so uh, we, were got, we got it for review from Libro, so we are going to be listening to that one as well. And the last one is the one that everyone is reading, if you want to be a part of it, which is called The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Mm -hmm. And that one sounds interesting to you, right? Yeah, that does. I mean, I the, the cover looks kind of creepy. Yeah, with the deer. Just a deer going like, what's up, bro? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so that's what we're doing for Fortnite Fright. I'm really excited because we're going to start all the creepy vibes this month, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, so then also for our book club, the book that I am reading with book club this month is One to Watch. This is also a new release, came out a couple months ago, and it's about a plus size girl who basically is like doing kind of a bachelorette mm -hmm. TV show. Okay. So, I mean, I'm kind of excited about that whole Thing. genre thing thing yes uh-huh um another event that marshall and i are taking part of in our book club is uh we get to read books for i think it's like a two-day thing we're mm -hmm. reading uh books by paul tremblay and the one we have chosen is cabin at the end of the world well which is a uh, fairly short so we're not like yeah it's called tremblay with fear that's that's what they call the event i love how they call the events in this book mm -hmm. club it's like really, it's really fun, fun. Um, so that kind of brings us to the personal books that we want to read this month. So what do you got for that? Um, well, I'm already starting The Hand on the Wall. Um, we're going to be talking about my experience with The Vanishing Stare another time, but I, I 
got a couple chapters in yesterday, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, we're also going to be doing Across the Green Grass Fields. Yes, we're doing month. that one together. That's mm -hmm. going to be fun. Um, uh, and that actually isn't coming out until next January, but when we got the review copy from NetGalley, we were like, yeah, we're going to read this now, because... Yeah. Um, yeah, we kind of need to. We have to. It's required. Um, <laughs> I'm also going to be doing One by One by Ruth Ware and mm -hmm. Sky Hunter by Marie Lu. And that is actually a new release also. We got that from Libro. Mm -hmm. um, it just came out, and I had been looking forward to it for a while, but I don't think Marvel has read a lot by Marie Lu, so I think actually, maybe one thing, right? Uh, yeah, I've read at least one that was a graphic novel mm -hmm. made from a book that she wrote about comic book characters. Right. Um, and then also, uh, just to, you know, go to sleep with, although this seems a little weird, uh, and because it's October and it's a very spooky time, I'm going to be looking through, rereading through all the old mangas of Berserk. Mm. Um, those of you who know it, it is a very dark fantasy horror thing that's very, very long. So for my personal list, besides Across the Green Grass Fields, I am also trying to read Salem's Lot by Stephen King. Uh, yeah. yeah, we will see if I get to that or not. I really do want to read it this month, and I haven't read a lot of Stephen King, uh, but I, this one just kind of seemed interesting to me, especially this month. The other thing I want to read this month is The House at the Bottom of the... Uh, House at the Bottom of the Lake, which is also by Josh Mallerman, and it is a short story. It's very, very short, so I thought maybe I could get that one in as well. This one doesn't come out until the end of the year, so it is another review one that I have to do. So uh, that kind of gives me a little bit of spooky vibes for this month also. Okay. okay. Do you have anything else on your list besides that? Um, no, I just got some stuff that's like a, if I ever get to it kind okay. of thing. Okay. So just uh, to run down the books that I do have for review this month, I wanted to tell you those, even though I don't know if I'll necessarily be getting to them this month, nor do I uh, all the time review these on videos. Sometimes I just do it on the blog or on Goodreads. So if you're following me on my Instagram Goodreads or uh, my blog, then that would probably help you to get the reviews on any of these. Yep. Uh, so what I have is kind of a weird mix of them. Uh, my first book is But What I Really Want to Do is Direct. It's by Ken Quapis, who basically directs a lot of episodes for The Office, which is why the name kind of stood out for me, because I listened to Office Ladies podcast. And uh, I saw the book and I was like, mm, that might be interesting. I want to read that. Uh, Mistletoe and Mr. Wright by Sarah Morgan Thaler. And uh, of course, the little holiday uh, book. So I'm ready to get into the holidays. I've already read a couple. So uh, yay for that one. Jane in Love by Rachel Givney. Cinders and Sparrows by Stephen Bachman. A Princess for Christmas by Jenny Holiday. Don't Move by James S. Murray. All the Devils Here by Louise Penny, and A Fangirl's Guide to the Universe by Sam Maggs. I'm actually, that one I just got, and I'm actually really, really uh, excited to read that one as well. So that's everything on the review list. If you want me to review any of those for you, make sure you comment below so I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sounds fun. Awesome. So... Thank you so much for watching our little TBR list. Um, let us also know what you're, wa you're reading, watching, whatever, playing <laughs> in the month of October to get you ready for all the spooky fall vibes. Okay. We're so ready for that. Uh, until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye. Okay, so photo time. I got a message. Hold on. Yeah, you did. Okay, photo, you said? Yeah, it's time for a photo. I'm for a photos. Spooky TBR.